Hey guys, happy Monday. Um, all right, so I wanted to do this video. Something that was on my mind that I wanted to share with you guys today. So um, I'm sure most people have heard that quote and I should have looked it up before I hopped on, but basically it's like your um, success or your like your ability to succeed is kind of like the five people that you spend the most time with, something like that. Um, and you can like, if you look at the people that you surround yourself with, you can kind of see like the direction that you're gonna be going because you kind of tend to go in the same direction as the other people that are kind of in your circle. So those people can be just friends, different influences, people at your, you know, if you're working in, working in an office or whatever it is. Um, so one of the things that somebody recently told me was, um, because sometimes like when I'm having a conversation with like a customer of mine or even a coach and when sometimes they're kind of dealing with negativity, um, talking about just like negative thoughts or, oh, that's never going to work for you. You're not going to be able to lose weight. Um, you know, especially moms, like a lot of negative thoughts of like, oh, you're never going to get your body back. I've tried for so long and there is just not possible after a C-section. You know, like people put all these like definitive statements on people and it's like I made a post earlier on Facebook where I said like it might be impossible. Like if you tell somebody your dream and they say that oh, that's impossible, it's impossible for them because they don't have the belief. It doesn't mean that it's impossible for you. And so when sometimes when I have a customer or a coach that tells me some of these negative thoughts that they're dealing with or these um, influences that are telling them that they can't do it, it's not going to work. Um, I ask them, well, like, who are you surrounding yourself with? Like, who are the good influences that are in your circle or in your world? And they say, well, I don't really have anybody, you know, like my mom, she's really negative and my husband, he doesn't believe, you know, he thinks that I'm just wasting my time and money and everybody at work is already doing something else and like all these things. And it's like, well, I totally get that. And I understand that not everybody has like real life role models that are available to be in their world and to be like somebody that you have lunch with or have coffee with. So, um, cause I don't really have those people. I definitely didn't have them when I first started. So, but you want to know what I do have? Like I have, books and um, like this is Master Your Time, Master Your Life by Brian Tracy, How Successful People Think by John Maxwell. Uh, you guys see that I, I share my personal development in the uh, page all the time and I tell you guys, all right, this is what I'm listening to. I am like immersing myself, you know, because these are the people that I am putting in my circle. These are my five people and I understand that Maybe John Maxwell does not know that he's one of my five people or Robin Sharma. I've been talking so much about the 5 a.m. club and just about the framework of how I'm using that to change my morning routine, to make myself a more productive person, to keep my mind focused and sharp on, on doing the things that are going to move my business forward. So while I may not be sitting down and having coffee with, uh, you know, with Robin Sharma, or Grant Cardone, who's, that's the current book I'm reading, which I totally recommend, called um, Be Obsessed or Be Average. They may not know that they're in my circle. They may not know that I listen every day while I'm in the car, while I'm walking the dogs and all those things. But that's the cool thing about, you know, about being in control of your life, is that you get to make the decision on who those five people are in your circle. So just because you don't have like some cool friends to get together with at your local coffee house and mastermind and you know have these cool little brainstorming sessions like would that be nice of course but don't let that hold your don't let that hold you back from having good influences in your life 
There's so many resources. Not to mention, of course, our team. Like we have tons of awesome people on our team, tons of people that would probably love to hop on a Zoom chat and mastermind and brainstorm and throw some ideas out there to strategize and say like, all right, what are you getting? What are you doing to get Success Club? What are you doing? Let's rally together. Um, you know, so there's so many resources out there, but it starts by you taking that first step of reflection to really analyze like, all right, who are the people that I'm spending the most time with? Who are the people that I am allowing to occupy space here? Because like every bit of information that comes in and out of your, like everything that you hear and everything that you allow to come in is occupying real estate in your mind. So if you are allowing somebody else's thoughts, behaviors, patterns, moods, attitudes, if you are allowing those things to stick with you, then you're giving them a chunk of space in your head of your, that valuable real estate. So you need to decide like, all right, did this person get to occupy my brain? If not, evict them, move on. You get the opportunity to choose the five people that you are spending time with. So is it negative Nancy that works in the cubicle next to you? Or is it John Maxwell? Is it like doubting Peter or whatever, doubting Thomas? Or is it, uh, you know, Tina Fraley who's just hopped on this live call? You know, like you get the opportunity to choose that and you get to say like, you get a space in my brain, you don't. You get to be a part of my life, you don't. You can say what you wanna say and I don't have to believe it, I don't have to take it in and I don't have to let your reality be mine. I don't need to let your opinions be my opinions or my beliefs. So that's just something to think about. I know that I've definitely had those times where, you know, when I've seen quotes like that about surrounding yourself with other successful people, surrounding yourself with um, positive, uplifting, ambitious, motivated boss babes. And I'm like, um, yeah, they all live in the computer, sorry. But the thing is that like, maybe, maybe they are in the computer, but like take that step to make time to have that Zoom chat and to strategize and to connect on a deeper, more personal level, on a beneath the surface level to where you really just di like dig through the initial, how's the weather in your area? And how was the kids? Like, and get down to the nitty gritty of like, all right, what are you doing? <laughs> how are we going to meet our goals? What are your goals? How are we gonna achieve this in our businesses? And that's a great way to just stay accountable, to build relationships. And um, also it makes events a lot more fun too, as a side note, you know, if you build relationships with other people on our team, when you go to Summit, you're gonna have a lot of people there that are gonna be excited to see you. So that's just like a side perk. But anyways, um, so think about that today. Think about who those people are, that are you know in your world and realize that you get the opportunity to choose who those five influences are. It doesn't need to just be PD authors. I mean like there's sources, you know, things like faith, things like marriage, things like parenting. You know, we take influence in those areas in so many ways from things that are on the news to things that are posted that you see on other people's social media. So if you want the authority subject to be what Janet posted, then that's fine. But if you want the authority source for you to be something that's like from a reputable like expert in marriage, then I would choose the expert in marriage, you know, if that makes sense. So anyways, guys, that was just something I wanted to share with you. Um, I really appreciate you guys hopping on. Um, I, like I said, I've been really diving in to personal development way more than I have in a long time and it's helping me so much. It's really helping me to stay focused, to not wander off into scrolling land on social media and just keeps, it's really helping to keep me focused and on track to the things that <clears throat> that I want to achieve, like the goals that I'm writing, the goals that I'm setting, I'm staying so much more focused. And because at the start of this month, I asked people to share what their goals were for August. So those people that shared what their goals were for August, we've actually been talking and chatting every day, 
sharing how we're making progress, celebrating those small little steps that we're taking each day. And it's helped me tremendously because when I look at my goals and I see like, okay, I haven't done anything in this area. Like I automatically go to my August um, goal, I don't know, goal getters group or whatever I called it. It's just been a great way to stay connected. And that's another source of positivity, of ambition, of people, other people than myself that are motivated to, um, you know, to put the work in, to put the discipline in and to see those results. So, um, I think that's it. Hopefully that all made sense and, um, have an amazing day. Make sure you go back, watch the national wake up call. If you haven't watched it yet, Josh Spencer's call was really good. And that's all I got for you for now. So I hope you have an amazing day and I will talk to you again soon.